got my black ladies. Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, man, we got white people. We got some Asians. We got, I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to Adas Place. Today is all about a Berlin vlog. I just want to take you along with me, you know, through my day, what I'm going to be doing today. There's actually a lot of activity. So, first, I want to go work on my brows and then do a little bit of shopping and um, hang out with some of my friends this evening. So, fun day. <laughs> Anyway, I need to make breakfast for you. This is the best for French toast. I mean, for you toast, yeah, it is. Really? I can make it for you tomorrow. Really? Yeah. We have I was milk. Thinking just normal. Mm -hmm. We have milk. We have bread. We use milk to make French toast. Yeah. Put some milk inside. Mm -hmm. We have milk. Mm -hmm. We have. Like, we have the baking butter, right? Mm -hmm. What else? Do you have zim? I think so. I have to make you French toast tomorrow. Right? Breakfast in bed. <laughs> you don't use egg. Wait, we have eggs. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There's a constant bed, baby. Trying to unscramble eggs. Do you have maple syrup? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's okay. Ain't come to stay with me for the weekend. Mm -hmm. I'm going to treat you to a large English breakfast. With tea and all that. <laughs> Black tea, English breakfast, bacon, baked beans, everything. I need to go to the UK. I need to go see my friend in town. You can't wait for freedom. But I don't think I don't think the UK is open now, no. Mm -mm. It's even better you don't go to the UK now. And that's what the variant, right? I'm planning to go to France at the end of this month. Mm. Let me just hear it. I just want to be, I want to be settled a bit. Mm. Let's have more clarity. Thanks, more clarity. Spread out. Mm. For me, all of my clarity is happening right now. Yeah. Once I start working, I want to like be back to back work. Maybe go for a weekend to Spain oh. to see Andy. Oh yeah. When you're going, we can actually go together. It would be nice to see you speak. I want to. I really want to. I've not been to any country that I can see each other. It's so bad. And I came here specifically, not just because it's a non English speaking country. I also came because it's EU. I don't need visas to, you know, go around. And still, I've not got anywhere. I've not got anywhere. So, so annoying. I've only gone to cities in. What cities have I been going to? I've gone to the light stage, gone to Hamburg. Should you even be saying that when you let me start paying your rent? Mm -hmm. I also pay your revenue school fees. In case you want to do PhD, come to mama. Let me 
And I come to us, I'm not doing anything. Let me just tell you now. You have any expectations you cook like this? Let me just educate you now. Okay, guys, so all done, all dressed up, ready to leave the house. First place, I go take my COVID 19 test, the Chanel test, and then from there, I go thread my brows. <sighs> How do I look? How do I look? Bye. It's nice that the sun is out. It's finally out, and um, we don't know for how long, but <laughs> until then, right? Just hang on, hold on to what we have until then. Until when we have to wear winter jackets again. And um, what's this thing? Yeah, bennies and shawls. So yeah. Okay, so see you guys. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like it's not long, it's not short. Lights for what? Like the right light you know, I watch the video, the one you posted. The last one my apartment. Like when you were showing like where the window was, of course the light was I didn't know. It was dark. I noticed after I finished making the video. I was like, last, last, you guys should see my, my shadow. <laughs> yeah, so, but now I, I'm, you know, sometimes when you do this kind of things, you don't, you don't yeah. notice until or later. Like, so I'm becoming more skeptical about the, it. The this, I locked it, but yeah. I didn't increase the intensity. Ah, increase yeah. The I know, if, as you're moving the tripod around, because yeah, of the, the yeah, lightning also changes. But yeah. Oh gosh. So, I'm done with my test. I'm going to do thread them. The first time, my first time threading my brows. I heard it's painful, so let's see. I hope the lady allows us to take a picture or make a video. She's cool, right? Ah. No, 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 she doesn't need to appear. The focus is on my brows, baby. <laughs> spot a difference and um yeah i also went to buy some things nothing much i'm home now but i'm going out again because a friend invited us for um how do you say an open open park comedy something something i don't know i'm going there to find out i'm going to take you guys along with me so let's move so, innocent. <laughs> yeah, so how, how did you guys meet 
classic love story. Tinder. <laughs> 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 we all have been there. We all have been. My, my, with my girlfriend as well. We we were together uh, since well, she, something like that. And <laughs> we met on Tinder as well. And 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 I mean, now we're living together even and and living together uh, with her and like by myself. It's it's changed a little bit because like the only difference is like now there's just hair everywhere. <laughs> I don't know if you know that, but I. I, I confronted her, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Are you balding? <laughs> That's very normal, like, you know, we dropped her hair, like, what, what are you talking about normal? What are you, Labradoodle? Like, what, what's going on? It's, it's very strange, because, like, if a guy in his 20s lose hair in those quantities, I mean, this guy, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we booked a ticket to Turkey to get a hair transplant, like, by the way. Because if you, if you think about it this way, a guy balding in his 20s and trying to hide it, it's kind of like communism. Uh, because no matter how you put it, it's never going to work. <laughs> yeah. And on that note, I'm going to bring on the second comedian. Give a big applause for Sandy Jones! <laughs> I'm going to put this on. I'm not going to live a lie. It's not on! The honest people. Thank it's you. Friend, yes. Friend, yes. Friend, yes. Good to be here, guys. Can you hear me? Friend, yes. 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 Oh, awesome. Oh. We're here. You look great. You look beautiful. I can see there's uh, some Germans at the back. Yes. I can tell from the sunspot. They always find the sunspot. The Germans. <laughs> <laughs> Like you guys, I had a lot of time to reflect in the lockdown, and uh, I've been reflecting on some physical pains I've been feeling. Near the back of the neck, the whole lockdown, eight months, I couldn't move it at all. My neck has been moving the whole time. And I recently figured out why, okay? And I want to tell you guys, I've, I've figured this out. There's nothing more uncomfortable in the world than a German pillow. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yes. Sorry, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Guys, a pillow is only meant to cover from this part of your head to here. Yeah. Oh my god. Exactly. It's by it's. Oh my god. For some unexplained reason, pillows in Germany are one meter square. That's <laughs> called in. It's so wild, man. There's a lot Why? of tall Germans, but no one is walking around with a one meter tall head. <laughs> I've never heard someone say, yeah, ich bin der Klaus, mein Kopf ist so ein Meter hoch. <laughs> das wegen brauche ich so groß ein Kissen. <laughs> it's never been said, man. It's never been said. Oh. Well, speaking of the virus, what a bizarre year we have all had. Personally, I was really happy with the pandemic. Because zero women were raped in India during this time. For the first time in 10 years. This is great. Yeah. yeah. Also, COVID panic was so strong in India that my parents thought they were going to die. So my dad wrote all his property in my name. Oh, oh so, cool. so nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. I feel like Batman. <laughs> I'll tell you why. During the day, I do my corporate job. In the evening, I go around the town and make people happy. At night, I sleep alone. <laughs> and now my parents are going to die. That's basically Batman. <laughs> People on Tinder were extra desperate and extra kinky. I don't get it, like why is Berlin so kinky? Berlin is so kinky that the COVID test at the airport cost 69 euros. <laughs> <laughs> they could have picked any number, but no, 69. <laughs> I went skiing for the first time in my life during this winter. Ooh. And I was the only brown person skiing on the Alps. White people were absolutely surprised. But skiing is such a white people's sport. Why do white people have such bizarre hobbies? Why do you want to ski a mountain, jump off a plane? It's like white people don't have any problems, so they want to create their own problems. <laughs> have you ever heard an Indian dying of adventure sports? <laughs> we don't need adventure sports in India. Our everyday life is an adventure. <laughs> Walking home alone at 10 p.m., the fear of getting raped is an adventure. <laughs> Adventure. <laughs> Even our childhoods are so different. Like at the age of 16, we all were fucking around. I genuinely believe that I'm going to be an astronaut and work for NASA. <laughs> I mean, I ended up becoming a stand-up comedian, which is not very different from being an astronaut. I mean, we both, we all reach for the stars. We spend months alone. 
and also we don't get late very often. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think the thing I hate about being Indian is the mediocrity that comes with it. Like I get oppressed, but not to the extent that I would start a movement. <laughs> black people have Black Lives Matter. Asians have Stop Asian Hate. Nothing. There's nothing for Indians. Nobody gives a fuck about us. But the thing I like about being Indian is not even the homeless people here ask me for money. They just assume that I'm poor. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, I've recently started dating and uh, I'm dating a generic white person. <laughs> like, you know, how white, all these white people study all these weird courses like conflict studies, cultural studies, language studies, basically the things that you can learn from a YouTube video in three hours. <laughs> this person moved from America to Germany to study Japanese history. Wow. <laughs> things Americans do for free healthcare. <laughs> oh, what can I, say? I mean, I'm also a difficult person to date. See, dating me is like buying bitcoins. Your <laughs> <laughs> friends will recommend me. My worth grows over time. <laughs> <laughs> and just like Bitcoin, my I am extremely volatile. <laughs> I was spending a lot of time with myself, you know, so I, I've been coming up with a lot of theories. So like when I was a little kid, my father always told me, like, no, you should show a lot of initiative. You should show a lot of leadership skills. So now whenever I meet a new group of people, I am the one who starts the WhatsApp group. <laughs> My dad will be so proud. My dad will be really proud. <laughs> it's Berlin is a strange place, you know. I, I really like this. Like Berlin is one place where you can drink on streets, you can drink in park, and you can drop that bottle right there and think charity. <laughs> <laughs> like yesterday I went for this uh, corona test. And that lady put that bud so deep in my nose, I thought she was gonna take it out of my mouth and say, ta-da, magic! <laughs> very sweet, like very that. sweet. Recently, I was about to meet a friend and he asked me, what's your ETA? What's your ETA? Estimated time of arrival. <laughs> I was like, bro, who do you think I am? I am not an Amazon delivery guy. <laughs> like two days away, one day away. Four blocks away, five minutes. I'm, and then, bro, I'm down. Can you pick me up? I'm too unpredictable for that. I'm like falling in love. Aww. It just sneaks up on you. <laughs> just like, okay, didn't work. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm not a swiper, also. I don't like to swipe on phone. I, I don't do online dating. So I, I find different ways to date. So recently I've decided I'll be dating on Biggie Gusuk, <laughs> Immobi Scout, Platforrent.com. Oh my god. Then all of a sudden a lot of girls want to meet you. <laughs> Texting you all the fucking time. Can't resist to get a hold of you. So one of them, you know, she was she called me up because supposedly she was in the neighborhood. She was like, ah oh, now can I come up? You know, like, it would be nice if we talk in this time. So I was like, okay, it's fine, come on. And then she comes up and she starts telling me about her life, about her dreams, everything. Like, like I, I didn't ask for any of that. Like, she, she's telling me everything. She wants to start cooking food for me. She's like doing everything and like trying to impress me in every way possible. And then, uh, you know, I, I, after a while, like, she asked the question, you know, like, after like 22 minutes of intense foreplay, she asked the question, now, can I move in with you? <laughs> and then my flatmate walked in. Aww. He didn't know I was renting his room. <laughs> yeah. I see a lot of German people in here. I think it's very easy to make German people nervous. Like, you have to do very small things to make German people nervous. All I do is, just don't put down that little separator in the supermarket. Fix <laughs> them every fucking time. <laughs> that little wall of emotional security. <laughs> you take it away, you take away their life insurance. <laughs> Mexico is building walls. America is building walls. 
in Germany, a little wall for potatoes and tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> the level of security we need. <laughs> that's it, that's my time. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, the, the lockdown wasn't so good on me dating wise. Actually, it was kind of tough because uh, I really liked this one girl, but we could never meet up because she uh -huh. didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> and I kept writing her, but she never replied. And you know, female friends of mine, they always said that uh, size matters. So I wrote her the longest paragraph. So I heard that thickness matters. So I wrote everything in bold letters. <laughs> no reply. So I was like, all right, I have to be more romantic. I'm gonna write an actual letter and send it to her. You know, like a secret lover, like a mysterious lover. <laughs> but uh, my handwriting is really ugly, so I took a magazine and cut out the alphabets. <laughs> but you know what? She actually, I, I got, I got a reply from her. You know, I did. Well, not from her, from her lawyers, <laughs> but, you know, still kind of counts, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, let's move on to the next comedian. Yeah? Alright guys, I'm very excited to announce the next comedian, she's also from Asia. Please give it up for Moni. Hello, Lauta! <laughs> Before shows 
I have diarrhea after shows. I have diarrhea on the way to shows. That's the story. <laughs> Make me realize that uh, diversity matters. <laughs> yeah. Diversity can solve issues, even doctors cannot solve. <laughs> and then later, I told this story on stage for the first time, and that's the moment I realized the self conscious, ashamed Chinese girl is no longer in me. Because Aww. now I can talk about my diarrhea. <laughs> Do a comedy show like this. It's like a comedy show with layers. You know what I mean? It's like a scavenger hunt too. Scavenger hunt. Can't even speak anymore. <laughs> Fucking hell, man! Like the way here was so weird. Like I was like riding my bike, and Google Maps was giving me like all types of weird type of directions. You know, like exceedingly weirder and weirder. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Shit is weird. Fucking turn left. Turn right. Sharp left. Double right. Double jump. Double backflip. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Did this fucking jeep go to the castle or some shit? What the fuck? Where am I going, bro? I feel like Peter Pan in this motherfucker. <laughs> Weird. Or Black Harry Potter. Larry Potter. <laughs> this is nice, man. It's good. Look at how many fucking different people we have to do. We got my black ladies. Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, man. We got white people. We got some Asians. We got, I don't know. <laughs> You got yourself a what? Uh, <laughs> man's beard out here. Another homie. Dude, we fucking friends out here. This is nice. As you can tell from my accent and from my demeanor, I come from Eastern Europe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, that's not a joke. Our childhood, bro. I was um, uh, half Bulgarian and half Congolese. Some people say I look Latino. Personally, I am incredibly confused. Uh, <laughs> it's confusing, man. Black kid in Eastern Europe, dude, really weird. Because I was the only black kid like, in, every, in a sea of white, and it wasn't even like the normal whites, like the nice whites, it was like the dangerous whites. <laughs> it was dangerous, bro. Like, white people from different countries are scared of the white people from Bulgaria. <laughs> Sometimes I come up to you and like say some shit and shut you down and you gotta like think about that shit in the showers and you fucking think of a comeback but the situation never comes back again. <laughs> you know, but in Bulgaria people are not that creative. Situations just come back again. <laughs> so I'll be fucking packing, you know, fucking the hella comebacks in my back pocket. I'm just like waiting for some shit, right? There was this often question like people would come up to me and be like, hey, uh, Dio, why do you think uh, only your palms and your feet are white? Like, I don't know why. They'd be like, because when God was painting you, you were touching the wall. Oh, oh, no. I was like, all right, that's cool, whatever, you know. And that question came up again and again and again. My dad told me to come back. I'm like, bro, I'm waiting. I'm just waiting for this thing to come back, you know. Sooner or later, hey, uh, Dio, why do you think only your palms and your feet? I'm like, uh, why do you think your asshole is black? <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? I never heard from that question again, dude. Not once. Not once. Because I have to flee the country. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Bulgarians don't like being fucked to the ass. I had no idea. You know, we out here, bro. We're in Berlin. Look, this is the future of homeboy popping champagne. Let's go, dog. <laughs> Shit, calm down. It's six. <laughs> it's bubbly. Unlock. <laughs> in the park. <laughs> and in this economy. <laughs> allowed, bro. Here we got we got bald people in the back, white bald guy looking at me angry. <laughs> no, uh, he got a black friend, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> judged, man. It happens, you know. Berlin, dangerous people exist in this country shit, you know. But it's good that all the people that I see here have come to laugh. This is nice, you know. Because you have people that come to a comedy show 
with the mindset of like, make me laugh. <laughs> My nigga, you already lost. Like, <laughs> this is not why you come to a comedy show. You come to a comedy show to laugh, be like, oh, that's funny, that's funny. Every now and then be like, ooh, true, you know? <laughs> that's it, that's a comedy show, man. We let loose, we had fun, it's nice, you know? Shit is cool, man. I came to, I came to Germany six years ago. Six fucking years ago. First four years, I lived in Dusseldorf. Because <laughs> I wanted a true German experience. <laughs> Four years of my life. <laughs> Real quick, threw it out the window. <laughs> Never gonna see that shit again. But the cool thing is, I dropped all my Bulgarian habits. You know, I don't drink vodka for breakfast anymore. I'm so, uh, good for the heart. I understood. You know, I, I picked up some German books. A friend of mine gave me this like big white German book, and it had red letters on the cover, and it said like this: "The unwritten rules of society, now written." <laughs> Good book, you know, you gotta fucking learn some shit, you know, it's cool. Germans have their own like little things that they do and they like freak out if you don't do their little things. So you gotta watch out. Crossing on red, don't do that shit. And do even if there's no cars, man, you cross on red, you're gonna hear a German go, HOT! Muff! You know, it fucking booms like a cannon too. You hear it from a mile away, HOT! <laughs> Another really fun thing, if a German sees that you're doing something wrong and he's in close proximity, he will do this, hello? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Reach you out of nowhere, hello? <laughs> Leave it up to the Germans to figure out a way to tell you're doing something wrong just by saying hello. <laughs> if that's not the most passive aggressive shit in the world, I don't know what is. I've been living, I've been living here trying to do my shit. I'm fucking doing comedy on Zoom. Ugh. The pain of seeing just myself bombing for six minutes <laughs> on a small screen. I'll be saying shit, fucking. People eating spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody paid attention. My man's fucking belly button. Mm. You know? Like, bro, do, do you find that funny? He's looking for Margaret. I'm like, no, what is, I don't even know where I'm going with this joke. Cause it's new shit. What, what's going on? Anyway, fucking next fucking thing. Uh, should I do another one? <laughs> yes. 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 Trying to fucking level up on my ethnicity, you know. <laughs> oh, man. One million dollar word, I made it up. Ethnicity, <laughs> you know, you gotta oh, pick up. Uh. There's a way you don't get shit in life, you know. You gotta be like, uh, I got this fool, let's go. You know? <laughs> and it's like I tried to fucking exercise at home, didn't really work. But I figured out one thing, right? Slowly, it started working through the pandemic. This only place you go is the supermarket, so that's the only place I go to train. And this is how I know it works now, you know, this is how I know I level up on ethnicity. Because if I see something that is way too expensive, I just flex on the price and it lowers. <laughs> <laughs> every time, bro, every single time I see fucking orange juice, two ninety. <laughs> 79 cents, what a fucking <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys.